Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're getting a diagnostics policy service is not running on your Windows 10 computer. So this could definitely be a frustrating issue, and without further ado, let's jump into it. So if you're running the troubleshooting utility for when you're trying to troubleshoot internet connection problems and you're getting an error saying that the diagnostic policy service is not running, this tutorial will hopefully be able to address this issue for you. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to begin by opening up the start menu just by left clicking on the start button one time. Type in services. Best match should come back with services or view local services. I would suggest selecting the one above desktop app, so services desktop app. Even though you could do either one and you would get to the same end screen. So just giving you guys a couple of different options there. And once this is done loading, you want to go down to get to the diagnostic policy service right here and you want to double click on it. So once you are here, you want to make sure startup type is set to automatic and service status is set to running. Once you've done that, you want to left click on apply and OK. And once you've done that, I would also suggest going through the command prompt and granting administrator privileges to different modules. So we're going to also open up the start menu again, type in CMD. Best match should come back with command prompt, right click on it, left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control window at this time, you want to left click on yes. So now in the elevator command line window, we're going to type in two different commands. Again, I want you guys to do one at a time. So I'm going to copy this one. And once I've copied it, I'm going to go up to the top bar of the command prompt window here. Right click on it one time. Left click edit and then left click on paste. Once you paste it in, you want to hit enter should say the command completed successfully and now you want to do it for the second one as well the same way so go up to the top bar again right click edit and then paste keep in mind I'm copying it off screen so you guys aren't seeing that but I'm copying it and then I'm pasting it so just take it right from my description and paste it right in here should say the command completed successfully and once you've done that Hopefully that's also resolved the issue. I would suggest restarting your computer and seeing if that has had any effect. Now, if that's still having an issue, you're more than welcome to try a system restore. And if that still is not fixing the problem, you can try reinstalling your network adapter. So now we're going to open up the start menu, type in device manager. Best match should come back with device manager above control panel. You want to left click on that one time. And now you want to expand the network adapter section, either double click on it or left click on a little arrow next to it. I would actually recommend right clicking on it and then try updating the driver, see if that's worked. If it has not worked, I would suggest uninstalling the device and then reinstarting your computer. Once you restart your computer, the network adapter should automatically be reinstalled. So just giving you guys a couple different suggestions there. And you could also, if you went into the start menu again, typed in network troubleshoot. Go underneath identify and repair network problems. There's other tools that are built into Windows 10 that are just like this if you typed in networking and so forth and you can let these tools run. See if they find anything. So I think I did provide five or six already and if that still has not resolved the issue there's actually one more thing we can try. I'm going to run a couple different commands here. So we're going to open up the start menu, type in CMD. Best match should come back with command prompt above desktop app. You want to right click on it. Left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, left click on yes. So the first command I want you to type in is ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. Exactly how it appears on my screen. Then you want to hit enter. Once you've done that, now you want to type in netsh space winsock space reset. Again, how it appears on my screen. Then you want to hit enter. Should say successfully reset the WinSock catalog. You must reset the computer in order to complete the reset. So I would suggest restarting your computer at this time and hopefully one of the methods I went through in this tutorial have helped you. So as always, thank you for watching. Do hope I was able to help you out and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.